WNVLF. Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. My name is Paul, W1VLF. Got my Moxie shirt on tonight because we're going to do something with our Air Spy Discovery distinctly different. You know, if you if you really think about this little guy, uh, it's more it's a lot more than a receiver. It's a spectrum analyzer, um, and and this one has the capability of hearing things down to 10 kilohertz. So tonight we're not going to put an antenna on it. Well, maybe you, you might call it an antenna of sorts. We're going to use a couple of these guys right here. These are ultrasonic um, sensors. Um, they're kind of uh, ambidextrous, I guess you would say. Um, transmit and receive. These are happen to work at 24 kilohertz. I'll show you a close-up shot of these. Um, and it's kind of interesting. Hopefully this will be a short video. Uh, this started out 20 years ago, maybe more, and I had an interest in uh, making a point-to-point -point sort of communications contact using uh, ultrasonic. Um, had two sensors, one in each of a small, like two-foot parabolic dishes, and uh, several hundred feet apart I was able to modulate the 24 kilohertz signal that will feed these, and we'll show you on the scope, I'll set all that equipment up real quick and uh, was able to uh, to to uh, make a path a couple of hundred feet distance. Now that doesn't sound like an awful lot, but if you look up the attenuation to 40 kilo, or excuse me, 24 kilohertz in in air, um, it's it, that's quite a long distance. But it was a it was an awful lot of fun experiment that I did, and uh, hopefully um, this will give you some ideas to try to maybe not look at this as just a connected antenna to it receiver but uh, kind of a, um, a hub around which you can interface all sorts of different devices so let me set up the scope and the generator and then take a look at this and then I'll sort of walk you through from where I'm going to be transmitting with the 24 kilohertz source here uh, that'll happen right here and then I'll go around into the next room and uh, the signal, 24 kilohertz uh, acoustic signal, bounces all over the place. We'll connect it to the input of this directly in, nothing, no, uh, no gain antenna or anything like that. Just connect it directly in and um, take a look at You'll see the signal, you'll see the Doppler shift and some other stuff. So hopefully a real quick video that will just get you thinking about what else you can do with this uh, AirSpy Discovery. Um, so glad I have one of these things. Anyway, let me set some stuff up here and I'll be right back. Okay, magic hands are back and boy, I guess the magic belly's back too, huh? Okay, what we have here is a frequency, 24 kilohertz. I'm not sure if, if you can see this very well but this is a 24 kilohertz um, signal driving one of these uh, transducers this is the transmit the one over here which I hope you can see is the receive and so what what you expect to have would happen is I'm driving it with a sine wave so you're gonna you're gonna see a sine wave this is at 24 kilohertz represented here on the scope and I'll put a, a rag in between. Ultrasonic uh, frequencies don't penetrate through very soft materials very well, so we'll put a rag in the middle and essentially we'll completely absorb that energy. Take the rag back out again and there it is. So you can also see th some other sort of um, artifacts happening here as I move my hand in and out. And what you're going to see when we go over and connect this to, at the ham shack, connect this up to the Air Spy Discovery is uh, essentially just a carrier, right? Kind of a pure sine wave. Uh, so that's going to be represented by, by a single uh, frequency carrier. So I'm going to move this a little bit further away. Turn the gain up a little bit. And you can see just by moving this around slightly, 
that there's all sorts of uh, weird artifacts that take place. Okay, so the amplitude is going up and down. Uh, and I'm going to show you a Doppler shift, which will be really evident um, on the Air Spy receiver. Again, this is not a tutorial or anything like that. It's just a, kind of an eye opener. Hey, what else can I do with my SDR that I hadn't thought of before? Uh, and since we have the capability of receiving signals down to roughly 10 kilohertz, and here are two 24 kilohertz transducers, uh, and when you drive one, the other one outputs in a voltage, uh, that receiver will see it just fine. So, uh, where are we? And then obviously as you get closer, we'll throw the rag in there one more time. Gone, right? Okay, so let's go over and take a look at it on the uh, Air Spy receiver, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is where our transmitter is going to be, our transmit transducer. And we're going to uh, go into the other room here. Going to go around the corner. The wood stove. And over to the ham shack. Now it's not all that far away. It's maybe 15 or 20 feet total. But it's, uh, it's through a doorway. And it uh, should be interesting to see how well that signal propagates. So give me a second to hook it up, and we'll get behind the uh, computer here and take a look at it. I'm going to be using um, uh, SDR Sharp tonight and the uh, Air Spy Discovery. So back in a flash. Okay, so there's the sensor. And it goes to the uh, back of the racks here. where the uh, air spy receiver is located. It's connected directly to the input of the air spy and there's the carrier at 24 kilohertz. <clears throat> so we're going to grab this and we're going to move it in and out and you're going to see Doppler shift as I move it back and forth. You can't see me moving it. Let me, let me get back a little ways here. You can see the frequency shift as I do that. I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit better here. Tell you what, I'm going to connect this up, actually get on the uh, computer here, and uh, picture quality will be a whole lot better. I'll be right back. Okay, we're over here at the, at the, uh, the ham shack uh, computer. And there's our 24 kilohertz carrier signal from the other room. I'm trying to be very, very still because any motion, I'll just move my arm a little bit. You can see how the bandwidth spreads way out. There's uh, modulation taking place and some Doppler shift. So if I get real, real quiet here again and, and I don't move around, you can see Look where that noise floor is. Noise floor is at a below full scale in this program, showing about 110. The only carrier in there is the 24 kilohertz. So I'm going to do an experiment here. Let me pick up the sensor. Try to hold it extremely still. Let me turn the audio on so you can hear the beat note. And as I move this, listen to the Doppler shift as I move this. Okay, I'm holding it steady. I'm going to pull it away from the transmitting source and watch the frequency will go low. Okay, and then it stabilizes. I'm going to move it back into position. Now I'm going to move it towards the transmitting device. Here goes. And now I'm just going to move it back and forth so you can see the, the actual shift back and forth up and down. So here goes. sort of frequency modulates it. And if I go faster or very slow,
So just sort of interesting, not uh, a, a, a <laughs> not anything all that exciting, but still yet yeah, something else that you can do with your SDR receiver that maybe you hadn't thought of in the past. So a couple more uh, little Doppler shifts here. Let me try something. Uh, let's move this up a little bit. Maybe I'll even speed this up. Can I speed it up any faster? Maybe, there we go. And I'll turn the gain down a little bit here. Maybe that will, or the contrast, that'll make it a little bit easier. There. That's simply moving it from left to right. This is towards the transmitter. You can see it go way up in frequency. Well, way up. 500 hertz. And down and back. About another 500 hertz. So, that's it. Enough, enough of this craziness for tonight. Don't be afraid to uh, experiment with different kinds of transducers. If you can convert it to a voltage, you can look at it from a spectral perspective with your SDR. Thanks for watching. Listening to this craziness, 73W1VLF, signing out. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you could subscribe, uh, I would even appreciate that even more. Um, who knows what uh, kind of crazy stuff will uh, come up next on the channel. Have fun, experiment, and thanks again for watching. W1VLF, 73, and I'm good in the call book.